<sighs> so what's going on YouTube? Um, finally got the cylinder back. And from what they told me, they had to uh, cut this thing open. They couldn't get they couldn't get to the rod through the cylinder. The, there was no way to take it off. And these people, this is what they do. So um, I'm not real happy about that. Because then that's telling me if something else happens, it's going to be the same thing over. And it wasn't real cheap to get this fixed. I mean, it, you know, if I didn't have a few extra mods on this thing, I probably wouldn't have done it. You know, I mean, that's that's about what it costs, so I'm not, you know, I'm not real happy with that. And you go on any site and I can't find a replacement. Yeah, maybe I should have called them, but, the, you know, these parts should be re readily available. As many of these uh, splitters as they sell, you know, you can replace the engine, tires, everything, hoses. But then you can't find the, the dual action cylinder anywhere. That doesn't make sense. You know, so and I'm not real happy with it. Um, so I give that a thumbs down for Harbor Freight for the splitter. Everything else has been good, but yeah, the cylinder. Once you lose the seal on this thing, it's going to be, I bet you're going to have to cut it open and, and dig into it. And I just, I don't know how to know how, you know, I don't know. I really don't know how to weld. I wish I did. That's something I need to learn, obviously. But, yep, right here. They had to cut that out. There's no other way to get to it. So, so I will be adding a, um, a filter. I went and got a filter assembly. And I'm going to mount it somewhere over here on the return line have it coming out like that because I, I don't want to take a chance on this cylinder getting boogered up again and they told me there was so much wood jammed in here they could barely get it out there was so much they had to really dig and I'm like that's you know, it's kind of a flaw of this because when you come back on the backstroke, that's all that wood's gonna get jammed in there. Just, it's hard to keep it clean. You know, just like down in here, I don't have so much wood stuck down in here, jammed up to where I could barely get the cylinder out. I had to press this out with a, a 20 ton bottle jack with some rubber, heavy duty rubber against this uh, wedge. So, I mean, it's supposed to slide in slide out you know this thing's a little warped too so I don't know if just the pressure of the wood jammed in there you know if, if that just finally gave and it tore the seal up I don't know but uh, you know it's almost you know if this is the way it is this is almost a throwaway splitter unless Harbor Freight has some answers but you know I don't know if they really give a crap you know and I bragged on this splitter to a lot of people saying oh what a good splitter it is until <clears throat> until I find out about this cylinder so I mean unless you you know work on a farm or something and de you deal with this all the time you might be all right but I don't deal with you know replacing cylinders and seals and stuff like that that's something I, I just don't do that so I, I didn't have the know-how so I'm letting you know I haven't seen anything on on YouTube you know I understand I use a four-way wedge so I, uh, you know, I, I put the sink through the riggers, so I know, you know, there's times where some of the gnarly pieces I probably shouldn't have used, you know, a four-way wedge. I try not to put, you know, I don't put knots through it, but, um, but yeah, that, I, it's really no excuse. If anything, like I said, there should be a replacement cylinder somewhere. You know, I could have probably bought a brand new cylinder for... For what I paid to get this fixed, but they uh, they told me they put some uh, better seals and and rings and stuff in this. So um, hopefully it'll last at least another year, and then I'm just going to end up selling it because I'm not going to keep doing that. Uh, 
end up buying something different, something with a regular cylinder, maybe a push through, push through deal, upgrade to something, maybe the, the rugged split. I wouldn't mind having one of those with the log lift, so I don't have to lift logs, but yeah. Harbor Freight, this is uh, this, uh, unacceptable, you know. I dug and dug online, I couldn't find anything on this cylinder, so um, I'm gonna put it back together, add a filter. I might throw a magnet down in that uh, hydraulic tank, so no metal pieces work their way into anything just to be double careful because I'm not trying to replace these seals ever again I'm gonna sell this before I have to do that so um, like I said just an update putting putting it all back together and and hopefully get some wood split you know I've been splitting by hand you know everything and it's been so hot here I don't want to do that when it's 95 degrees so you know, that's that's my take on that I won't be uh won't be buying another splitter through them, so have a good one, YouTube.